everyone, it's Michael, and I'm so excited to be filming the Bloom Profile for number 62 in my Orchid Collection, my Epileleo Cat Leia Volcano Trick Paradise. Now, so many of you have requested updates on this particular plant because of its root system. Sometimes you'll even see it in the back of my Orchid Collection updates and be like, what's that plant with the crazy roots? I wanna know what's going on with it. So I'm so excited to tell you that it has bloomed and given me such a gorgeous display. I just wanna give you a sneak peek before we go in closer. Just get a load of these blooms. Oh, she is vivid, she is vivacious, she is fiery. These blooms are so uplifting. I can't wait to tell you more about it. Let's go in for a closer look. We are looking at number 62 in my orchid collection, my Epileleo Catlea Volcano Trick Paradise. You might also find this beauty under the name Epicatanth Volcano Trick Paradise. I purchased this plant on April 2nd of 2019, and this is its very first time blooming for me. The genetic background of this plant is robust, as Epileleo Catlea consists of all intergeneric orchid hybrids descended from at least one species in each of the following parent genera, Epidendrum, Lelia, and Catlea. The parents of this specific beauty are the Catalanth Trick or Treat and the Epidendrum Stam Fordianum. The adaptation of this plant to semi-hydroponics was almost instantaneous. As soon as I repotted, it put down vigorous root growth inside of the container and outside of the container. Now, as we look at the vegetative growth, we do see signs of nutrient deficiency. This can be attributed to the inconsistency with which I have fertilized this plant. But even so, it has sustained quite vigorous growth. The root system of this plant is absolutely breathtaking. As you can see, the roots are densely packed within the container and are tightly woven around the leka. But you also see this gorgeous cascade of aerial roots that have developed over time. Had this orchid not established so well within the container, this display might concern me. But it appears that this one just wants a little extra carbon dioxide and moisture. Now speaking to the flowering timeline, flower spikes began to appear on August 16th, but didn't begin to open until September 4th. This means that from the moment you first see signs of a flower spike, you can expect a brief three week incubation period before you'll see the blooms open. This orchid has already been in bloom for one full month, and I anticipate it'll stay in bloom for another two weeks. This brings us to an overall bloom duration of four to six weeks. As always, I will update the description of this video to reflect the exact bloom timeline every time this plant flowers. Flower spikes will always develop from a sheath that is nestled in between the top two leaves of newly matured pseudobulbs. As lovely as this display of five blooms is, the orchid can produce so much more. These beauties are known to produce up to 30 blooms per flower spike. Suffice to say, as this plant matures and is given the proper blend of nutrient solution, it will produce much more prolific displays than this one. Speaking now to the blooms themselves, you can see how this orchid earns its name of Volcano Trick Paradise. The coloration is fiery, like glowing embers, and it's a type of beauty that you would only encounter in paradise. As they open, sepals and petals explode into a proud star formation, and that formation is punctuated by a rebellious ruffled lip. The entire bloom is saturated in a vivid shade of orange yellow, and that orange yellow is punctuated with freckles of deep red on the lip and pale speckling on the sepals and petals. In regard to size, flowers are relatively compact, measuring in at roughly an inch and a half wide and two inches tall. Now, in regard to the fragrance component of this orchid, I wouldn't describe it as fragrant. However, when you put your nose directly into the bloom, you do get a very soft, very uplifting floral. It's hardly noteworthy. You don't smell it in the room. It's not prolific. It's not gonna fill your space. But if you really search for it, there is a beautiful smell to it. I just don't think it's significant enough or powerful enough to call this a fragrant orchid. And with that, that's pretty much it. Thank you as always for choosing to spend your time with me. If you have any questions, concerns, or feedback, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Be sure to support one another in the comment section because I'm so seldom available to do so. Don't forget to click subscribe and have a beautiful rest of your day. Mwah! Bye friends.